Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 best wireless flash trigger. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Aotalan Wireless Flash Trigger. Aotalan Wireless Flash Trigger, the YN560 IV, is the best flash remote trigger in the YN560 Speedlight series as it introduces wireless master control along with a slave mode. It's an improved version of the YN560 III that also offers superior speed light range and a great bang for your buck, representing a fantastic option for any photographer who is interested in mastering off-camera lighting on a tight budget. This system offers full bounce and swivel lighting thanks to the minus 7 to 90 degrees tilt range and 270 degrees of rotation provided by the flash head. You can also trigger the flash optically via instant synchronization or skip pre-flash functionality. The integrated PC synchronization port further expands the unit's connectivity options while the provided multi-mode lets you enjoy stroboscopic lights. The YN560 IV is powered by 4 AA batteries and has a recycle time of 3 seconds. The package is delivered with a protective case and a useful stand. I was looking for another transmitter and receiver for my Nikon D7200 since I got one for my Canon, but not sure if it compatible with my Nikon. So I bought one and started to test it out with my hot shoes flash and the response time is awesome. Better than my other transmitter and receiver. It was easy to use and glad that they only carry AA battery slot cause the small on one of my transmitter is small. High speed synchronization, HSS, is a feature that lets your camera reach higher shutter speeds with a flash, granting you even more control over the lighting. The average camera has a flash synchronization speed of about 1 250th of a second as the camera cinches the strobe flash with the shutter opening. If you'd like to employ the flash at higher shutter speeds to balance out the ambient lighting, you'll have to get a flash trigger with HSS support. The number 4 on the list is Yongnuo. Yongnuo, the YN560 IV is the best flash remote trigger in the YN560 Speedlight series as it introduces wireless master control along with a slave mode. It's an improved version of the YN560 III that also offers superior speed light range and a great bang for your buck, representing a fantastic option for any photographer who is interested in mastering off-camera lighting on a tight budget. This system offers full bounce and swivel lighting thanks to the minus 7 to 90 degrees tilt range and 270 degrees of rotation provided by the flash head. You can also trigger the flash optically via instant synchronization or skip pre-flash functionality. The integrated PC synchronization port further expands the unit's connectivity options while the provided multi-mode lets you enjoy stroboscopic lights. The YN560 IV is powered by 4 AA batteries and has a recycle time of 3 seconds. The package is delivered with a protective case and a useful stand. I realize there are already almost 400 reviews for these flash units and mine will most likely get lost in the flood, but I just wanted to weigh in on what makes them so awesome. First of all I have used Canon speedlights in the past, still own a 430EX that sits in a box and collects dust I really don't like using ETTL as I find it rarely gives me the kind of exposure I like in my photos. I personally feel it looks flat and unprofessional, so this review will be based on manual functions. This unit doesn't have a TTL function anyway so. On to the review. I have been using Yongnuo flashes for about 3 years now and I honestly have no gripes. None at all. Especially now that I've upgraded to the IV models and get the added wireless functionality built in. I dropped a 560 III model about 4 feet onto the concrete a couple years back and the bottom of it broke off. It actually kept working for a full 2 hour shoot after that before it blew out completely. Probably due to some shorts after wires coming loose. But that just speaks to the durability of the flash. The number 3 on the list is Westcott. Westcott, the FJX2 meters is an advanced system that is supplied with multi-brand tech and can be used with almost any camera model, 
out there to trigger the FJ400 flash unit. You can also pair it with a broad range of Canon and Nikon flashes, Sony, using an adapter, as well as Fuji, Panasonic Lumix, and Olympus cameras. This system offers an intuitive UI, provides a wireless range of nearly 985 and 200,000 triggers per charge. The FJX2 meters is packed in a compact, lightweight casing with a built-in lithium-ion battery and an integrated adjustable hot shoe that allows you to attach the camera. Mount this unit to your camera's hot shoe to wirelessly manipulate the FJ400 flash and take advantage of its TTL mode, high-speed sync, HSS, rear curtain sync, group and channel configurations, group exposure, compensation, TTL to equivalent manual feature, modeling lamp parameters, etc. Here's the other reason I love these. While I have a master controller for my speed lights, I prefer to use my flash and manual mode even when it's attached to my camera or on a trigger. On the Canon speed, light switching power while in manual mode takes a few extra clicks and requires you to depress the tiny center button first to let the unit know you want to start changing power level. It drives me a bit crazy now that I'm used to these. With the in manual mode, you just click one side or the other on the interface and your power level changes by standard stops. Click up or down to change power in smaller increments. I can get the exposure I want so quickly with these now that I really don't understand why Canon chose to design theirs differently. If I had to pick one thing I don't like, I guess that they heat up and delay quickly. If you are firing off shot after shot the batteries get hot quick and the unit will force a delay until they cool down. You can attach an external power pack to eliminate the problem, but I have learned to just work around it. I'm a bit more intentional with my shots anyway so I'm not one to just blast away, spray and pray style. I'd say I can get about 8 minutes of continuous shooting, full power, at maybe a shot per second before I start experiencing delays. You should also consider the speed, if you need to shoot at high speeds like 250 plus, then these will not work. If you're using a controller, you may even need to drop down to 160. The number 2 on the list is, newer. Neewer, the RT16 Studio Flash Triggering System is supplied with a 1 8 plug and a 1 4 adapter, which make it extremely convenient to use. The transmitter is powered by a 23A12V battery that you can enable by taking out the insulation tab. You can also save battery life by using the on-off switch on the receiver. Additionally, setting up this system requires minimum effort since the transmitter doesn't have any channel parameters. You can trigger the transmitter via either the camera's hot shoe, the test button on top, or a synchronization cable that you'll have to purchase separately. The RT16 offers 16 distinct dip switch configurations for you to pick from to make sure the system doesn't suffer from interference caused by nearby devices that operate on the same channels. Employing the flash off-camera grants you more control over the lighting conditions and allows you to deal with some of the issues tied to mounting the flash unit to the camera's hot shoe. Below you'll find a rundown of the key features you should take into account when picking the best flash remote trigger. The vast majority of wireless flash triggers allow you to employ the flash by sending a signal from the hot shoe or PC sync cable regardless of the camera model you pair them with. The automatic power control feature, commonly referred to as TTL through the lens, is usually proprietary to specific camera manufacturers. For example, a Canon TTL flash trigger won't support this feature on a Nikon camera, even though it can still be employed for simply using the flash unit. The number one on the list is Godox Pro. Godox's Pro, this handy wireless flash trigger is compatible with studio flash units, speed lights, and camera shutters. You can pair it with Sony, hot shoe connected DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. One of the biggest benefits of using the X2TS model is that it provides high-speed sync support for most flash units that are supplied with TTL tech. It can reach an impressive sync speed of 1 8,000th of a second. High-speed synchronization HSS, is a feature that lets your camera reach higher shutter speeds with a flash, granting you even more control over the lighting. The average camera has a flash synchronization speed of about 1 250th of a second as the camera cinches the strobe flash with the shutter opening. 
If you'd like to employ the flash at higher shutter speeds to balance out the ambient lighting, you'll have to get a flash trigger with HSS support. If you're employing a radio connection, you have to ensure the flash trigger's transmitter and receiver operate on the same radio channel so that they can be paired with each other. A lot of models come with multi-channel support that helps prevent potential interferences from other flash units or devices that could be used in the vicinity of your position.